we need to know where you. I want to know where you yeah, were. Call yeah. her on the pod. I might be able to give you a history lesson or Save something about the, the area. Well, we'll have to find out later. But um, it might be really actually, actually, no, I did take a picture. Wait, oh, I, I did, did take a picture. picture. Oh, just oh everyone's it. so hyped. Look at little Jimmy behind, oh, the, Jimmy. behind his screen. He's like, I can't wait to Jimmy. see where Chris went. Why is his microphone there? Yeah, what have I got a droopy one? You ain't. Wait. Thanks. <laughs> you always been kind to me, haven't you? Yeah. Happy Valentine's yesterday. Oh, uh, when yesterday. it comes out. Oh, when it comes out, you mean? Yeah, because it'll be a day after Valentine's. Yeah. You know, I thought I just, it's current. Look, it's look. current. Oh, I can't see the background. You look background. at the background. Chris will show you. Yeah. Chris, really... show the background. <laughs> we always make Chris yeah. move. Oh, look at Isn't that. Isn't that nice? It says thicker than water podcast. That's what I do instead of make money. Yeah. <laughs> and look, what do we wear on Wednesdays, boys? Pink! <laughs> Let's go! Pink. It's fucking pink, boys, for Valentine's. Oh, very, very nice. I thought I had more, but there's only two. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is all going on. This is trying to serenade us right yeah, now. Yeah, make that look good on the screen or something. It's lovely. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm all about Valentine's. I'm single, yeah? And I'm not in love, <laughs> but I make love. That. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm about. Very nice. Love making. Look at the state of some of those flowers. Do you know where they came from? Where? Like, what, some reason, when I get drunk, I get really fiddly with shit. Like, if I'm holding something like a cap on it, I'll probably just fuck with a cap for ages. Oh, I kind of yeah. get like that when I'm drunk. And there's a bit, though, I'm a bit fiddly anyway, I think. Like, and if fiddly. I just stand still, there's this whole fucking wall in lounge of flowers. And like, while just talking to someone, I just go, <laughs> Pulling them off behind me just because, like, I just can't help it. I'm just feeling it, like, and they're so easily rippable. And that's been in my jacket pocket for years. And that's I keep got, forgetting yeah. about it. I thought there was loads of little ones, so I thought it was going to be more impressive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've looked, but, but that was my idea when I've remembered they was there. Uh, you know, my thing of bringing old shit to the pod and making content out of it. Look, again. So you got fiddler's syndrome. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like I'm a paedophile, but that's not the truth. Oh, what's no. He, 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 he plays a musical instrument. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. No strings but attached. I don't play that either. Yeah. No strings attached. Nice. No, that's not one to his like, bow. Oh, no, like, like Cupid has a bow. That's it. Singing to the same tune. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love cel- making he it loves theme, celebrating the holiday. So it's something Val- to do. St. Valentine. I, so who is St. Valentine? Well, I was going to say, this is the only time I've been excited to celebrate Valentine's Day because I'm single. Ladies? With you guys. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah. We're going to fucking have some fun tonight, ain't we? Oh. I've got some rose petals on the bed. Oh. <laughs> rose petals. Yeah, it's on the bed. And plus... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's gonna plus, the person in the UK spends on average £35 for Valentine's Day. A bit like capitalism, really, isn't it? £35? And they don't, well, most don't even know who St. Valentine was. Most. Oh. So basically, the man. I think spends, I know who it was. The man spends £35. On average, yes. Yeah, so maybe one bloke don't the other bloke spends £70. The women. And around 145 million <laughs> cards are sold around Valentine's Day in the UK. Oh, money again. Fuck it's money it again. Out. And then there's flowers. Why do people buy those? I don't it's know. It's just like poetry. They're going to throw it away. It's a waste. It's a waste. Yeah. yeah. It's always a waste they card. You never keep it? them. If you ever ask someone who you gave a card to, oh, where's that card I gave you? I'll like, throw it in a bin. Exactly. That's why I've never bought you cards. Like, they really want it. And you've never because bought me cards. We've it's always like, agreed on that, haven't we? Yeah. What's the word? There's like an emotional attachment to it, but it can't really be that. No. Yeah, yeah it's sentimental. Just but they mulch. throw it in the bin. Can't yes. be that sentimental. Just mulch and you print. Fucking bastard. Yeah, what a waste of money. But wasn't isn't St. Valentine someone that got killed? He was like a martyr for the Christians. I and used then, to know, but you know, and then it's, it's, it's with the brain fog. Apparently, I think there's more than one, but well, I think there's more than one story which they think might be true. Yeah. But he, either way, he got killed. Or well, they said he might have been in uh, put in jail by the Romans. I and thought then... being your doobries. Oh, this is actually what it is. <laughs> oh. Why? Do you think it's incorrect or something? No, I was just saying, I thought you might have, you might have researched that because you yeah. love Valentine's this, this year because yeah. you're single. <laughs> <laughs> and you're excited because more than... I'm 20... single! You're excited, aren't you? Because more than 25% of Brits are shopping online for Valentine's gifts. How many? 
Twenty-five percent of Brits. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to take this. I'm just trying to take the pod to the next level. Did you know over fifty percent of the couples <laughs> in the UK are not planning on celebrating Valentine's Day? Fifty percent are not planning on celebrating it. Chris is one of them. Because if he's stupid. Well, ten percent of all marriage oh, proposals happen it. on February the fourteenth, Valentine's Day. Facts and like st- show. Ten percent. Or they propose and then well, yeah, they fucking wake up. It's just the generic. It's like, oh, oh it's a love day. So it's yeah, really right. you now. Actually, tomorrow, that's oh. genius. Actually, now I think about it because if you do it on that day, that means you have two things in one day. So you've got your fucking, what's it called? You've got your anniversary and Valentine's Day in one day. Yeah, I'll fucking do every- I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be that day, no matter what. If if you ever have a kid or something, I, even though you don't celebrate that, that'll be the kid's birthday. Try and get it on like one of those days as well. It's like all in one. It's like we don't even celebrate Valentine's or our anniversary now because we use it all to give a gift to our to our baby. So Talking of babies, anyway. Brits spend about twenty seven million pounds each year on Valentine's Day for their pets. No, I can get behind that. <laughs> I suppose you could buy something for your bird. Uh. What, could, well, what do you get a goldfish we, we on Valentine's Day? On Valentine's Day, you know what I mean? Day, you know what, I mean? Huh? what do you get a goldfish on Valentine's Day? Romantic dinner. If you've got a pet goldfish. You sit across from it with a candlelit dinner. Yeah, say that yeah. costs 27 million quid. <laughs> you charge the fish. <laughs> that, that, that little worm. <laughs> that little worm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only worm you're getting this Valentine's. Don't fuck up. You have to convince the fish how expensive like the meal was so that it's happy. The fish can't even it can't comprehend what's going on. You're, it's you think, questioning. Like, how much you think you're really spent? playing it? Yeah. But yeah, Valentine's just comes from a Christian that was called St. Valentine's that got killed by the Romans. Yeah. Well, and that makes a change. It's normally all pagan, isn't it? But that now that but like the Christians like view him as a martyr because he got killed. So it's not really like a romantic thing it came from. Although apparently he helped another story, which they said could be true, is he helped someone while he was in jail, he helped someone's daughter. He helped cure their blindness. And then and then he f- he sent a note before he got killed to the kid and he was like, uh, you're Valentine, just because his name was Valentine. I sent a letter and ended it with your Valentine. So apparently that's where that could possibly come from, saying you're Valentine. But yeah, it's not a fun story, is it? Someone just got murdered by the Romans. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just capitalism. Classic. Um, Valentine's. But speaking of curing blindness, I do have another topic we go on to, unless you've still got some more Valentine's. No, I thought I copied and pasted it all, but oh, it's no, not there. It just says two women. <laughs> oh, no. Well, speaking of curing blindness, we Mr. Sorry. Beast. The Beast. Th- this last you know week, who Mr. Beast or something. Is. Mr. Beast. No, I never heard of him. Uh, Mr. Beast. He's a YouTuber. He sounds like a fucking pedo. <laughs> 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 no, he, he's like the biggest YouTuber in the world. Why? Well, because he's like he's a beast. Not weight wise. Oh. No, nah, that's just the name he chose for his YouTube. Oh right, I didn't know what he was on about. But he's worth one. millions, and he has millions and millions, and he got it all from doing YouTube. I well, just fucked us over there, didn't I? Better cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know what I mean? It's we networking. Yeah, zero you like, If you had him, that would be zero clubs now. That's like yeah. That's well, that's why. Let's do our research on his, his parents, his background, but, where he lives, what time they go up, go out of bed. No, where they that go sounds to crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. No, no, it was a joke. But yeah, no, he, no, no. he's known for putting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's known for putting loads of that money back into his like you videos yeah. and making it even bigger. Everything he would like make from his videos, like even coming up, any profit he would just spend back into his videos. Makes and he sense. just kept on doing it and doing it, and the videos got bigger and bigger and bigger, and like the videos are more more extravagant and crazy. Like he gives away so much money now in his videos. Good and. Uses it as part of his video. Just like us. Yeah, but uh, much we, like yeah, what? much like Saint Valentine's. We ain't got like money. He did. He didn't cure one person's blindness in these last couple of weeks. He cured a thousand people's blindness. And this is a that's some, his latest video, isn't it? Yeah, somehow turned into some controversy. But what I learned from looking up this as well. What on Valentine? Saint Valentine. Uh, no, Mr. Beast. Oh, I'm, I thought you were talking about Valentine. Nah, Saint Valentine cured one person's 
blindness, blindness. but this keeps us cured loads because you're giving yeah. money to the 1, yeah, to yeah. Cut, cataract hospitals yeah. and that sort of thing. But yeah. I learned. He did a video, of, he released it. Didn't yeah, he did a whole video. Well, he was doing the operations where he bought the cataract. He's paying for everyone yeah, for yeah. a thousand people. But um, it's only a quid of time out there, to be fair. <laughs> it's not a quid of time. <laughs> but I learned, I never knew. That is so easy to cure blindness. Apparently, ninety percent of blindness can be cured. Yeah, just like that, or little, like little knife underneath in it, yeah. and then it takes. It's a ten minute surgery. Yeah, yeah, ten I know. Minutes. Yeah, I watched a program about it. Right, this geezer, he's um, an Indian geezer. Yeah, and um, he learned all his surgery and things. He learned it all over here. Yeah, then he could have stayed in Britain and, and become really, really rich. But now, once he got all his skills now, yeah, he went back to India and he performs all this all these operations for almost next to nothing and free for people that can't afford it and all that that's the same and then he's he's yeah he's tens of thousands of people I don't know how many people he's got brought sight back to it was brilliant yeah I mean I can't, not everyone's greedy are I they I can't believe it's just a 10 minute surgery yeah like that that can't be costly for the uh, like place doing it but yeah they charge a lot for it but I think I have some people try to roughly figure out what it is because obviously it depends on what type of blindness you have the price of it fluctuates yeah. but people would say if you would assume it would be around like 5,000 per eye that would be and that so they're saying it would have cost him roughly around 5 million to cure these uh, 1,000 people's blindness but apparently loads of people are angry about this because they're Look after our own no, yeah, no they're oh. like oh he used he used that to like make, they're basically saying it's bad because he used that to make his YouTube video. Oh dear. And I don't know if some of them think, so jealous that yeah, hate even there. though he would have made, jealous he would have made money back on it and they're saying stuff like that, but he would have made less money back on it from how much he spent on yeah. that. And that's what everyone's saying. But it's so, I don't think anyone with a brain's thinking that because it's like, so what if he used it for content? Like, he just fucking cured a thousand people's blindness. Loads of people are saying shit like, do you think if you ask any of those people that are blind, like, oh yeah, I feel really fucking used that he gave me my sight back, but he made a video about it. Yeah. yeah. People are like, fuck it, go back, make him take away their sight <laughs> and, yeah. and give him his money back and Sorry. take the and take the fucking video down. It's like, bro, all the people that were involved in that are fucking, have, have just had their life changed. All of them are really fucking happy about it. It's just you fucking dumb bastards. Yeah, they're, all, yeah, and they're all the internet all the time, these people, these haters, aren't they? They just yeah. love to hate people. They just they love to be want to complain about so something. angry, aren't they? They must be so angry inside. Mm, yeah. They must really hate themselves just, that uh, they have to throw it on others and hate them. So that's why they're unhappy. That's why the world's such a shit It's their fault doing good things like that. How oh, dare you? How dare them? It, it, make me look dare you help change their lives. It's always the vocal uh, minority, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. like people actually on Twitter, and they, that's what they do. They spend their day on things like Twitter, just spreading hate to yeah. get reactions or whatever. Yeah, no, they're, they're demonic. They're out there. Yeah. The dark fucking people are out. They do exist. I know these nasty little fucks. And you always spring going behind people's backs. Yeah, you always hear it about like, the people who uh, the screens. Obviously, the more, more the more well known you are, the more uh, hate you'll get. You'll get as well. Oh yeah. yeah, and so people are always blocking them, but and they. They actually create other accounts and be like, yeah, can you block me? This is my account. Yeah. And it's just, they look at like what they said, why they blocked them. And it's just like insults. And it's just like, what's wrong with you? Why yeah. am I going to unblock you? I think a well, lot of not them right are like, here, are they? Yeah. Or loads of them are like kids as well. You're like stupid little kids half the time, like the anonymous ones. But like, they get a kick out of being blocked as well. And it's like, they feel like, oh, they have they succeeded. I've annoyed them or whatever. Like, yeah, that's they've thrill. seen me, yeah, that's, you know. That's, yeah. It's just so weird. Like, you how do you And you're glad you're not like that. Yeah. Yeah, but know. I feel too Hurting self-aware. people, getting a thrill out of it, watch people, you know, oh, make people yeah, suffer. Yeah, yeah. I get excited I and love it when that. they're suffering. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Online yeah. abuse. Like Hitler. Yeah. You you look basically Hitler, but behind a keyboard. But I think you got less balls than Hitler, actually. Yeah, he did. He yeah, went out yeah, and did yeah, it, put his face on that shit. Yeah, what's you going, boss? Massive. I listen. I ain't a Hitler advocate. I ain't no, nor am I. But yeah, yeah got his his balls. Balls. <laughs> yeah. you're under. more of a pussy than him. Yeah. But I think uh, Mr. Beast. He's had controversy before for things like that. Like that oh, sounds like just... a little rhyme for Eminem. I think Mr. Beast had controversy. <laughs> because it, <laughs> it rhymes. Yeah. yeah. Cut the fuck out. <laughs> 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 Cut the fuck out. <laughs> I was too uh, delirious to yeah. say the whole sentence. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's had controversy before. Like, he's just trying to do good deeds, but just b- because he records it and makes, like, a video and gets content out of it, people are like, oh, he's just 
doing they're it. Jealous he's not, not really doing, doing it because he's trying to help people. But it's like, he, who gives a fuck if he's just to help people? Yeah, if it's help people, like if he's, I was getting helped, I wouldn't really care if it, if it was for like his own selfish yeah, of needs. Course. If I was getting a benefit out of it, I'd be like, yeah, great. Fucking none of them care. They but, just got a really expensive surgery, which is life changing hmm. for them. But the thing is, he is actually a good guy, and he's always giving money away, like to shelters and all sorts. Like people that actually know him, and he never like uh, talks about it or mentions it. This is just like other you people are. that know him. Yeah, <laughs> well, this well, is how I know because other he, people that actually are close to him and know him, they've talked about it when things like this have come up. Yeah, he never really sort of address it, but but the crazy thing is, it's like what you we have to depend on a rich YouTuber to like help these people out, but all these governments aren't helping these blind people. We have to wait until a YouTuber builds himself from the ground up and then helps the people. But we've got all these governments and all this shit established. And they ain't helped one of these people. No, they haven't. Not we had this anyone. one kid that who started a YouTube channel did more than he, all these governments fucking combined for these people. Yeah. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And they all want to shit on him. Yeah, but those people when you're talking about in governments and that, they look down on people like us, don't they? Oh, yeah. yeah the like, that, that reminds me, he tried to go. Yeah, they think they were different species, totally different species of humanoid. Yeah, me, yeah. Me, me, we, we can't be part of their club because me and dad tried to walk in a building the other day in, in London. Yeah. And it turned out it was a fucking uh, private. I mean, pri- no, just a pri- was it a private club? Yeah, a private club, a big, huge mansion. It's really, massive. yeah. Because well, I, we didn't know at first. I just, I just saw this building. I goes, Dad, look at building. Look inside it. it had like massive chandeliers, ma- like massive paintings, like oil paintings or whatever. No, it's that sound in, like those, in those like big frames. Like it just looked it so huge. rich, and we saw that from the outside through the window. So we, Dad was like, "Should we should go in?" I was like, "Yeah," because there was no sign, signage or nothing mm. to say what it was. And we went through the door, and there was a man, man in it inside, wasn't there? Yeah, in a, in a little ticket booth thing, wasn't it? Yeah, Dad uh, was. I was. Uh, Dad was asking him what it was, and he was like, "Oh yeah, it's a private club." Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could just wait to see the back of us. Yeah, find it best not to strike up a conversation, wasn't it? Like, yeah. I was about 1,000 questions. Yeah, Dan was just standing there because <laughs> he knew full well that he just didn't, he wanted us to go. So Dad just did the opposite and was just talking about everything, asking him loads of questions <laughs> totally. about what's this place? Like, He's like, I don't want these common scum here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who was in there. Well, we when we uh, eventually left, <laughs> we gave the guy a break. We uh, walked out and we could just see like two old guys sitting up there. Just sitting in their own piss, yeah. you know, multi-millionaires. They come to the end of their life, and this is what oh, they do. Just too old, like, in, what they wanted to run out, oh, just to sit with them two, and that's it. I don't know what goes on. Those guys, Maybe it's mate. just what millionaires it's probably do some when they shit goes on. Really, there. really old, and they're yeah. posh, and that's their club. But it, it, it was weird because they up. they wasn't trying to stand out at all. They was trying to hide. It was a massive building. The like, paintings, there was hundreds of them, weren't there? And they've got they got to be like worth tens of thousands, easy or more, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. It was just a stunk of money, didn't it, and wealth. Yeah. I but they were never going to share it with anyone, were they? <laughs> nah. I wonder how much it is Not to you. attend. <laughs> we didn't even clubs. get a name of the place, did we, or did we? It was just, it was yeah, well, old... there wasn't no name, was it? Was it once an old theatre years ago or something and turned into a club? I have no idea. I was uh, trying to look it up, but I couldn't remember whereabouts we were because we walked around, didn't we? Ended yeah, we did, there. actually. We walked a few miles, didn't we? Yeah. We limped a few miles. Mm-hmm. Went to our, uh, what is it, Jollibee's? Yeah. Is it Jollibee's? Yeah, yeah. Jollibee's. Yeah. Isn't that like a nursery? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a... Well, I know you mean, does, there are nurseries I called Jollibee's. That, yeah, 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 there's one in Stevenage, I think. Yeah, Jollibee's. Yeah. We're at the Jollibee's and I got old nosh up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Dad Do was, we? Uh, Lots of why would they name a bar after a fucking nursery? Well, well, it, uh, it wasn't a bar, it was a uh, fast food. And oh. Um, oh, dad was loving it. He, I think he was getting nostalgic because by sounds of it, it was half his diet when he was in the Philippines. But it's basically oh, um, chicken. Yeah, spicy. It's, it's, it's like the Philippines KFC. But they, they do chicken Philippines. burgers. They do. What do we have? We had spicy chicken and loaded chips. Oh, you like KFC thing, and we had loaded chips. And they do a movie oh, meatballs chips. and pasta. Yeah, yeah they, they do, do mango bit. and peach mm. pie. What is it loaded with. And they normally do rice as well. They do in the Philippines, but I couldn't see it there. But you can get some boiled rice. You can have gravy to go with your chips. Yeah, I didn't see it for the size, but I know they did do rice because I saw one of the meal deals and it came with rice. One of the bucket meals, but um, yeah, pretty uh, got to experience uh, Filipino fried chicken, and there was a lot of uh, like Asian people there, a lot so of them were Filipinos. That, and I'll tell you what, I've never seen so many 
because they're quite slim abroad, you know, don't have a lot of money and they're very, but the ones over here, obviously, they're in good wages now and they got a bit greedy. I've never seen so many fat Filipino girls in one place. <laughs> Four. <laughs> You'd be lucky to see one over there. I on think it's just day. a culture thing because they're well, not they're, living over there. Yeah, they're they're not held to those standards over, no. over here, but over there they're And your money goes standards. far over there. Yeah, you well, could, yeah. Yeah, our un- unhealthy food is cheaper to get, in it? And it's easier yeah. to eat that. But it was... Um, Would you choose Filipino KFC over normal KFC? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I enjoyed... They gave us loads of free dips, so I enjoyed that. They had some good dips. What was that dip? That ginger and... I, I ginger took and a picture chili. Of it. Oh, ginger and chili. That was a good dip. Really? Oh God, yeah, I took a picture of it so I could remember it and maybe we can have it one yeah. time. But yeah, they do uh, a few dips. And we spoke to them in their own language. I <laughs> that did. <laughs> what, probably? Yeah. Really? Did they respond? Yeah, they yeah, get yeah. out, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you white devil. Pinkish man, get out. Beg out, foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> in the UK. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool, though. Like, like, it's in, like, seeing, like, Filipino, they're basically supporting their own, like, you know what I mean? Because it's a... Yeah. It's a company from their country. Although saying that, I wouldn't go to fucking Japan, and if there was a Greg's there, I wouldn't be going. Yeah, or an English pub. Go away to Japan. <laughs> or go to English <laughs> pub and get mash in it. Sausage and mash. That's like when we went to English beer. America and just had a subway. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, the subway is American. Yeah, I know, but it's not like we don't have thousands of them here. Yeah, but America is... But they have, like, their own... That's what Amer- I mean, that, that is kind of... Going to get there. I'll try quite a few foreign dishes when I'm... On. Though a lot of them are over here now. But back then, a lot of their places went over. Yeah, here. Wendy's like, just opened. <laughs> <laughs> five Guys is never here, but... No, that's then. only recent, isn't it? Yeah. I, found, I still went have five like, guys like that. that. <laughs> so we've had that one as well. Just oh, repeat okay. stuff. <laughs> just uh, laughing. Boy, that was We're the one. Use it. That was the one we threw away. Oh, well, there you go then. So you, you could, Why? But... Well, we can't use it again in this one now, because I went... <laughs> oh, on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use any of that now. Yeah. What else did we do? We um, visited Somerset House. Oh, Massive, Somerset wasn't it? House, that was cool. Unbelievable, wasn't it? That's it's good, huge. Light. How huge? <sighs> Looks like something from a James Bond. I think it was bigger than Buckingham yeah. Palace, wasn't it? What is it? I'm not sure how big Buckingham Palace is. Like an old naval probably. institute or something. It's huge, right on the Thames. Absolutely. I definitely want to do a tour there, though. They do like historic tours of the place. Yeah. It's and an hour, but I, so I doubt you go everywhere. But. We was that far from the temples, weren't we? Temple Bar and all that was that far well, it was really close to it we can visit that as well yeah a lot of history around there a lot of uh, malevolent history yeah and St Paul's was just up the road wasn't it yeah that'd be a laugh when it got up to the Whispering Gallery what's that it's a big dome gallery where you whisper Paul's. oh okay if you whisper in it you can hear someone's whisper right around the other side really yeah why Mad. it's just the way it was designed by it's Christopher Wren Christopher Wren. He's into ASMR. He built, made a whole building be ASMR. That's crazy. Oh, do you know what else I did, Dad, on the weekend? Yeah. We went to a wedding. Oh, did you? Oh, went congratulations. To a wedding. Oh, Saturday. Did you get married? It's Valentine's up? yesterday. Uh, wait, I didn't get married. It wasn't my wedding. When this comes out? Who'd you go with? Oh, you didn't get married? Yeah, Charlotte is someone on her side of the family. Oh. But uh, after the wedding was done, we went to like, you know, the venue where you go and have something to eat and all that. Mm, free food. The reception. The party, free food. The, the good... Where where was this wedding? You know, I don't even know where I was. Was it in England? It was in Essex. It was in Essex. Shut up! It was, apparently it was in Essex. And we, drove an hour, we drove an hour and a half. Was it a, a mansion? Really was it a castle? Was it a, what, the, a pub? It was in a church. Yeah, the, the wedding. The wedding was in the church yeah. and then you went to and the reception. The, Where was that? Um, that was at the, uh, a, a pub. A not, pub? Just around the corner from oh, it. It was like a little, little, little village. Oh, wow, and you don't know where it was. What is no, wrong with you? Because when, well, the way up, on the Some way up there, um, we got a lift and it was in, uh, uh, what's lift. that car? Defender. And uh, when you're, it's like a Jeep, Defender. But we was in the back and okay. there's there's not re- there's barely any windows, so I couldn't, I didn't know where the fuck I was. Well, you could have gone, like gone onto your Doobery. Google yeah. Maps you and it would told you the window exactly where you are. I could have, but you know. Did you take any photos? Social anxiety. But, Did you take um, any photos? No. Well, that's a shame because your photos would tell you where your photo was taken as well. Yeah. You could have done anything. I'll tell you what, message Charlotte now. We need to <laughs> finish the conversation. We need to know where you, I want to know where you yeah, were. Call yeah. her on the pod. I might be able to give you a history lesson or Save something about the pod. Well, we'll have to find out later. But, um, it might be really actually, actually, no, I did take a picture. Wait, oh, I did take a picture. Oh, everyone's so hyped. 
look at little Jimmy behind, oh, the, Jimmy. behind his screen. He's like, I can't wait to Jimmy. see where Chris went and attended a wedding. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> look, old, Jim, old Jimmy's watching oh, Mr. Jimmy's Beast now. Watching. No, he's moved on. He's watching Mr. Beast. Are you f- I don't even know how you find right. out the location. Oh, he's watching Go Andrew Tate shorts now. Yeah. Go to your photos. He doesn't care about us. It gives you the date and location. Apparently Andrew Tate's out of um, prison, so. Oh, was he? <laughs> they haven't killed him then. The, um, apparently he's a uh, well, CIA. This is me whoever. just going off one headline I saw and then skip past it, but apparently he was proven innocent. But, you know, don't quote me on that. But you can quote me on who St. Valentine's was. Okay. Allegedly. That's also alleged because I was really well, alleged. I know all that stuff, but... Um, but you gave up Valentine's for a long life of No, I mean, stability. I used to know the um, history of the, you know, the St. You know. Oh, yeah, I know I'm playing. Is he a saint? Why is St. Valentine a saint? I should know that. I should really look it up. Oh, yeah. I don't actually know why he's a saint. But I didn't know why they, they see him as a martyr just because he got killed by the Roman. The Romans killed him. Well, and they did St. Alban. Well, Alban. Then he, they killed him. And then he's St. Alban. They got, he got killed with oh, the so they of the get, cathedral. They get given the saint after being killed. Yeah. All oh, right. That's, that's, probably, that's probably what happened to him then. And, um, is it you have to um, perform a miracle? During life or after? Was it after? Sorry, after death, after life? Oh, bollocks. I guess that if that, because if he could, that uh, Charles Blindless, I guess they saw that as a miracle. Exactly. And exactly then they killed that. him anyway. That's so romantic. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Next girlfriend I have, I'm going to kill her on Valentine's. Oh. And see her as a martyr. Oh. Yeah. I won't really. I, I'm not going to kill you. I can't. I can't yes. uh, find the. Pit. Because it was taken on Instagram, the photo, and then I saved it. Did so. you not have it in your... Well, little Jim, yeah, you're going to have your watching. photographic album. Yeah, you're going to have to it wait. Is in, it is in my photos. Until we figure yeah, it out. Yeah, go to your photos Yeah, and tap on the photo. Yeah, yeah. Show you the date and location. Yeah, it's not yeah, good, and he's it? getting old. Uh, yeah. What I was going to say, we met this guy, and um, it was um, one of the uh, friends of the groom. And, uh, was this Horton Church? We were, this it was Horn. a shoot. Oh, Braintree. Oh, in Essex. I don't know where we were. I'm just trying to guess. You said an hour and a half, so I'm trying to. I, mean, I think you know, um, Basildon. I'm just trying to think where an hour and a half away is. Yeah, I don't know where it was. Okay. <laughs> it really <laughs> was shame, really. Well, yeah, well, you know, I know quite a <laughs> few areas. All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter though, does it? It's that little Jimmy, the one mm. subscriber that wants to know. But yeah, we was out. Uh, oh, we off. met this guy. <laughs> And um, well, you and like, Charlotte met a guy. Oh, well, God, this getting into some fucking yeah, we, soft core shit. You know what I mean? This is where the um, this is where the fortune cookie comes comes. A bit, oh to yeah, unravel. yeah. We was outside. <laughs> Who was? You know where all the smokers are. Oh was, right. We was out there, mm-hmm. and um, this guy started talking to us. Oh, Charlotte didn't know cookie. who he was, but it turned out he was. Um, oh, that means I got to go. I couldn't tell this story. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking bored. And. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Oh yeah, I sing for a living." He was like, "Yeah, I used to be on a uh, uh, a big show." And so I was like, well, "What show is that?" And he was like, "X Factor." Oh, you. And, um, well, he used to sing on it regularly. Well, we we just assumed, I think anyone we assumed on it regularly. he was a contestant. Well, it was like for one season. <laughs> that's what everyone. Oh, so he's been on a show as a contestant. As a contestant, yeah. yeah. How long was he on there for? Then a few years. Well, the next day we googled, <laughs> we googled him, and um, it was about eight or nine years ago. But he got quite far. I think he got knocked out just before the quarterfinals. Well, he walked through the door. He did quite. <laughs> so you can't go on there, mate. He got fucking black eye, split lip. You can't even see that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, he did a lot of like the live shows and that, and um, yeah, all dressed up and doing oh, fuck all yeah. the performance and that. Uh, like that. Yeah, so that is interesting. He was telling us about his body transformation. Oh, he's used to be a girl. I was, I was quite happy. Oh, he used to be a woman. Nah, he's like got in shape. Oh, he was like, oh, oh yeah. who calls that a body transformation? When I get in shape, I just get in shape. I don't say there's a body transformation. Well, I yeah. think if I it, get out of shape, I get out of shape. I think he said it because yeah. that's what the tabloids reported it as. He goes, yeah, the tabloids picked it up. I was pretty happy with that. My body so, trans. What was he like? Massively jacked then? No, but um, he didn't look like that. He, just he, he to, had a suit on. He but just used to be a fat piece of shit. I saw pictures. Um, of what he used to like, yeah, he wasn't. He yeah, he have, was a bad piece. Of he didn't have much muscle, but now he has like a lot of muscle. But, what like? Yeah, so um, well, a lot of mates, what, a, a lot, lot, lot of mates uh, looking after him. Yeah, what, how, how much muscle we're we talking? 
He looks like pretty Johnson, ripped. Man. No, he's, oh, he's, not, ripped. he's not big. Ripped or jacked? He's, he's more ripped than big. What, did he lift his shirt up? No, I saw pictures the next day because the tabloids are reporting it. Oh, so it actually went... So, yeah, um, I typed his name into Google. Are you looking at softcore porn of him? Is yeah. He? Who's this Essex boy? No one, no boy. one knows. <laughs> <laughs> his name's uh, St- St- Are you yeah. allowed to say that? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, Dad wants to know for some reason. It's not going to change oh, was anything. I was allowed to say that. But Charlotte's going to be at the uh, station in five minutes, so I'm going to have to go. Did you know that? I there's did not, not know that. There wasn't just one Valentine. There's about 12 of them. There's 12? Yeah. So this is all bullshit. Yeah. Who we cel- who? I don't understand what we're celebrating on Valentine's. We're celebrating the um, Roman one. Yeah, the Saint we celebrate on, on Valentine's Day. Oh, not Saint Valentine's Day. The Saint we celebrate on Valentine's Day is known officially as Saint Valentine of Rome. So he's a, he's a, he's a Roman. In order to differentiate him from the dozen or so other Valentines on the list, because Valentinus with a lovely penis. Mm. Mm, That's why a lot from of the Latin want word for worthy, it. strong, long, and Gurphy. Yeah, Gurphy was a popular moniker between the second and eighth centuries AD. Well, this is fucking boring. Isn't what it? the what the fuck? And it, why don't we talk about something funny? The real St. Valentine is the patron saint of beekeepers and epilepsy, among many other things. Oh, that's not So fun. we should all be sitting there like the fucking diseases and stuff and bee stings, shouldn't we really? Yeah, it's not really romantic. We did talk about jolly bees, I guess. Uh yeah. No. Take your take your missus to jolly bees on Valentine's. Yeah, put your. You ever had a bad Valentine's experience or a funny one or anything? Who, me? Yeah. No, I don't really remember them, really. Nah, any fucked up dates? Not not I remember. You know, I'm not really into capitalism, all that bullshit, really. What, you've never gone on a date? Yeah, I've been on a date once. <laughs> it was Christmas time. And I went to sit down after I just grabbed my drink here. I sat down, whole fucking packet of dates. Fucking the prong went up my arm. <laughs> like, oh, fuck! So like me, it was my dad had put it there yeah. I didn't know and it was all stuck and that I mean, what? Oh. so you had sex with actual dates by accident with my dad with your dad yeah oh god that's not the kind of date well, story dates. I, I was don't really expecting like dates. that's crazy you know what I mean anyway when we were talking about the patron taking the bees yeah you know, right? wasps nature's pest control yeah Wasps help control the leafy insects that damage your veggie garden and pests that damage trees, avoid pesticides, and let wasps and other predatory insects do their job. Wasps. <laughs> What's that ah. got to do with? Anyway, right, you know yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday on the 5th of February. There you go. That's what it is, right? <laughs> right, anyway, you know yesterday? Yeah. On the 5th of February, 1953, the rationing of sweets and chocolate was finally abolished after more than 10 years and shops throughout the UK reported a brisk trade in everything from lollipops to licorice. Oh. I thought you'd like, you like your sweets, didn't you? Or you used to like your sweets. Well, then you think a week later, it's Valentine's, which is heavily includes chocolate yeah. and sweets. And they needed to do that because it's a massive industry for the, for the um, British Empire was sugar, wasn't it? With the sugar plantations around the world and their slavery and all that shit. That's probably why they made the holiday then, along with St. Valentine's. And on a more sombre note, today in 1958, an airplane carrying the Manchester United football team crashed on takeoff in Germany, oh, wow. killing That's 23 people, fun, is it? including eight That's footballers. The crash became known <laughs> as the Munich Air Disaster. But on a lighter note... Oh my God, I need this lighter note. Tomorrow in 1976... Okay. At Croydon, Surrey, mm-hmm. Joan Baisley became the first woman to referee a football match between two men's teams. Well Let's done, the go. females. Well women's done, girls. rights. Yes, power to the women. Apart from the ones that are assholes. Yeah, apart from the fucking dirty little skanky little. Yeah, you yeah. all know who you are. Come on, subscribe though. Yeah, but d- demonic. I guess we better wrap it up because I guess we have done quite a bit now, and we. I had no idea, my son. It goes so quick, doesn't it? Yep. Well, I guess we'll be signing off without Chris We today. may be. Let me just check and make sure I haven't got anything else here. What? How the trees feel in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Has this got to do with like... Nothing. It's got nothing not, oh, okay. Nothing. You can save it for another podcast then. Okay. It, uh, we've hit a quota. Or, how will like, the trees feel oh, in the for spring? Sake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to use it anyway. I'm just saying. Do you know how the trees feel in spring? How do they feel? Relieved. 
<laughs> oh, all right. Oh, he's just tweaked. Oh Christ! <laughs> just like Saint Valentine's was a Christ. Yeah, but you know um, I mean? are we signing off now? You know, yeah. I hope everyone had a great Valentine. Yeah, we hope, hope you have a fa- great year. Yeah, I hope you had the- sex. Yeah. Um, and if you feel like you love her more than she loves you, she probably does. There you go.